Hello all, welcome to part seven of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain about the different types of API testing we can perform. So let's get started. So what are the different types of API testing we can perform? At a high level, these are the different types of API testing we can perform. So we can perform unit testing of APIs. We can perform integration testing of APIs. We can perform end-to-end -end testing of APIs. We can perform performance testing of APIs and secure testing of APIs and many more are possible, but these are the major ones. Okay, unit integration, end-to-end -end performance and security. I'll explain more about these uh, different types of API testing uh, after I explain about this example. Okay, I'll take this example known as deals, payments and orders guys. Okay, so what are they? Deals. Payments, payments, and the third one is orders. Let's say these are the different functionalities of the application. Okay, so these are the different functionalities of the application, and that too in uh, in the previous session I explained about this uh, microservices uh, architecture, right? So according to the microservice architecture, if the APIs are built for this, how you are going to test the APIs? Okay, first of all, these deals. Deals, payments, and orders. If I have to give an example, okay. If I have to give an example of an e-commerce application uh, where you go to deals page and where you'll get a lot of offers, okay, like 30% off, 20% off, like deals, products will be product products will be displayed with some offers, okay, with uh, some discount amount and all those stuff. And you will actually uh, select the product and uh, you generally make the payments, okay. If you like the deal, you will make the payments for that particular product. After the payment is done, the order has to be placed. Okay, order need to be placed if everything is okay. So this is the general uh, uh, three functionalities uh, of uh, any e-commerce application you take. But for the deals, guys, if you talk about deals here, if you talk about deals here, there will be front end and back end, right? For deals functionality, there will be front end. Uh, front end will contain uh, UI and UX, okay? You can call it as UI, UX, okay? I already explained about this stuff, UI plus UX. Front end and this front end need to communicate with the back end. Okay. This front end need to communicate with the back end. What does the back end will contain? Back end will contain server plus DB. Okay. Application DB. Okay. Uh, application server and DB will be there. Okay. So how the communication happens between this front end and back end? This communication between this front end and back end happens with the help of the help of API guys. Okay. The communication between front end and back end will happen with the help of what? API. Okay. So this is only for deals functionality. Similarly, for payments also, there will be front end, back end. For orders also, there will be front end, back end. So what I will do simply here is I'll copy paste this thing. Okay. Sorry. I'll just copy paste. For uh, payments also, there will be front end and back end. For orders functionality also, there will be front end and back end okay so front end and back end so for uh, let me take it a bit down or else i'll just uh, do one thing i'll just take it to the left side then i can take this to the here somewhere here and uh, yeah let me organize it properly so that you can see everything hey Okay, orders also will have front end and back end to communicate between this front end and back end of this orders as part of microservices uh, architecture of developing the applications. You need APIs, okay? Here API calls are made. Now, now what happens is if you are individually testing the deals, okay? If you are individually testing the D APIs of the deals, deals functionality, that is called as unit testing of APIs, first level. First type of uh, testing of API testing that is unit testing of API, where you are individually testing the API of deals functionality. Okay, individually, independently, you can say. Okay, without worrying about payments and orders, if you are only testing the API related to deals, that is called as unit testing of API. Okay, similarly, you can perform unit testing of payments. Okay, this particular API you can test individually or independently. That is again unit testing of APIs here also independently. You can test the API of this orders functionality also between the front end and back end, whatever the API is going on, API calls are going on, you are testing, that is also unit testing. So 
that is one type of uh, testing that we perform in api testing that is unit testing of apis okay now what about integration testing of apis you talk about integration testing of apis here what the real customer or user will do first the real customer or user will go to the deal section where a product will be there with some offer the let's say the customer has liked the product so here the customer or real end user who is actually uh, liking the deal would like to do the payment so from the deals page okay from the deals page the customer or end user will be taken to the payments for that for that communication to happen this integration api is required okay here unit api unit api unit api but for, for going from deals to payments okay if you select any product from the deals you'll be taken to the payments page for that an integration api is required okay similarly after doing the payment the order has to be placed okay for taking the user from the payments to the order placing pay, uh, page or order failure or whatever it is again another integration api is required okay so individually testing the apis of individual functionalities between the front end and back end is called as unit testing of apis i told you but if you are testing the integration apis between these deals payments and payments and orders right if you are testing this kind of apis which are integrating this different functionalities right that is called as integration testing of apis okay here if you are testing uh, the api which is running between the deals and payments that is integration api that is called as integration testing if you are testing the api which is running between payments and orders that is integration api between payments and orders that is integration testing of apis okay so first two things are clear for you now if you talk about end to end api testing in real time the users will follow the end to end scenarios okay so they will select a product from the deals say page and they'll do a payment and they will uh, the order will be placed these three things will happen okay so in order to perform end to end api testing how many apis are involved here how many apis need to be tested as part of uh, testing this end to end uh, api testing to test the end to end uh, apis okay end to end testing of apis here how many apis are required total 5 three unit testing apis and two integration apis okay all these five apis okay all these five apis are required for testing this end to end flow that is from deals to placing the order okay first deals api will be tested and then integration api will be tested to go to the payments and payments api will be tested to see whether payment is happening and once the payment is done uh, to take take the end user to the order section okay integration api will be tested okay as part of end to end flow and uh, once order is there order is placed or not that api uh, related to orders will be tested so total 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 apis are tested okay as part of this end to end api testing okay so instead of testing the apis individually or in instead of testing only the integration apis which are between uh, different functionalities here as part of end to end api testing we are testing both unit testing and integration testing apis together uh, to form a scenario to form a end to end flow in real time flow guys okay then uh, we have uh, so i hope guys these three points are clear for you so far so now three types of testing are clear for you next thing is performance testing guys okay next thing is performance testing of api is uh, important performance testing is not only done on the ui part of the application but also can be done using the apis okay we can test the performance testing using the apis also okay so another type of api testing is performance testing type of performance testing of apis guys so just see here what happens okay so let's say there is an application okay and on this application uh, let's say there is a product okay uh, very good selling product let's say uh, it's a product and uh, here buy option and everything is there here a good selling product guys you see at a time uh, on a sale okay some sale is happening in amazon let's say amazon big day sale some kind of sale is happening and at a time multiple customers from different locations around the globe are purchasing this product because this product uh, which is uh, very a uh, good selling product uh, is available for a very good uh, price now and so thousands of people okay let's say thousand people at a time in that particular time itself it, uh, simultaneously are trying to purchase this product so how many api calls will be made is it one api call 
okay so 1000 end users or end customers want to purchase the same product at same time 1000 people have placed the order okay uh, trying to place the, the purchase this product one api call will be made or 1000 api calls will be made what do you think api calls here the answer is 1000 api calls will be made okay for each and every customer who is trying to purchase a product at that point of time right one api call will be made if there are 1000 end users who are making these calls there will be 1000 api calls not one api call okay for a same product 1000 api calls are made how you can compare this with the real world is let's say uh, you along with your friends let's say you along with your friends are five people okay uh, let's say you wanted to take a break and you went for a tea break okay you went for a tea break and uh, you went to the tea stall and uh, you people are five people okay so so all these five people want to drink tea so only one uh, one order will be given for the tea or uh, each and every person has to place the order every person has to request the uh, the tea owner to serve the tea right and at same time the person who is serving the tea has to hand over only one cup to you or five cups each and every person should get one one cup of tea right not single cup here also same thing guys okay here also same thing if thousand people are purchasing this product okay thousand api calls will be made okay thousand api calls will be made in the real world example tea stall also if only one person is asking for tea only one call will be made if there are five people who are near the tea stall and who are placing the order five, five requests will come to that particular tea stall person and uh, the tea stall person will be providing individual cups for each and every person who has ordered the tea there right so that's what happens guys okay so this is how so when you see when five people are ordering tea for the tea stall person the tea stall person will take five minutes or ten minutes of time and will give you the tea that's okay based on the situation he has but let's say thousand people okay thousand people suddenly visit the tea stall and ask for tea what will happen Will the person will be able to serve the tea in the same time? Sometimes the person will say that, okay, uh, the tea has been completed. I, uh, he, uh, he or she who is serving the tea at the tea stall will serve for up to whatever the capacity the person has. And uh, remaining people uh, simply say that, uh, okay, tea stall closed. Okay. No more available. Tea is no more available. Something like that will happen. Right. Same thing will happen with the application also, guys. Okay. If the application doesn't have the required bandwidth, okay a required infrastructure uh, is not there like for example whatever the machine server machine in with this application is hosted if that is that doesn't have any required bandwidth or if the application is not uh, not uh, uh, tuned according to the performance things and all while developing the application if the developers have not written the code in such a way that it handles the performance issues or performance bottlenecks what happens is if thousand requests comes if the server is not able to serve this thousand requests okay thousand requests simply the application will either slow down or the application will crash or break okay that will happen in real time okay so so here also what we'll do is to see whether the application is able to handle that uh, much load user load or not okay thousand users ordering the product uh, is able to handle or not for that uh, a performance testing of apis will be done okay so we'll send some simulated user load to the apis okay we'll call the same api uh, multiple times uh at the same time we'll simulate that and see whether uh we are uh, for each and every thousand api calls that are made proper response has come back or not okay without getting any delay or uh, the api the not responding anything giving some invalid uh, response codes and all okay so that kind of thing okay that is called as a performance testing of apis guys okay uh, a performance testing can not only be done at the ul level but also can be done at the api level by simulating 1000 api requests being sent at the same time okay for the same operation okay so then security testing also important guys you see uh, api generally bypasses the user interface and there is a possibility that hacker can uh, induce some kind some kind of uh, you know right uh, payloads uh, vulnerable payloads uh, which can cause the application to uh, you know right uh, application to get uh, hacked okay maybe for example there is an api related to username and password and if the uh, using the api if the uh, if the hacker is able to using the hacker of that particular uh, using the api of that particular application if the hacker is able to pass some uh, what you call say uh, some kind of payload okay vulnerability payload uh, which can uh, into the username and uh, some random password and click and uh, click on send if the uh, 
uh, if the application is uh, application server is authorizing such kind of login request and the uh, login access has come so that kind of testing we do guys that should not happen okay that payload whatever that uh, we do we are not giving from the ui but using the api right that should be sh uh, should be uh, violated by the server and server should not take such kind of requests okay so such kind of security testing is possible and also when you log in right some tokens will be sent back okay some authorization will be done and some tokens will be sent back and uh, so all this uh, involves some kind of security guys okay there is a separate thing about api security okay so it's a different subject guys we i i would i don't want to explain uh, this performance and securities of APIs in depth, but uh, you just need to understand that there are different types of API testing that is unit in unit testing of APIs, integration testing of APIs, end to end testing of APIs, performance testing of APIs, security testing of APIs. And uh, with this example, you clearly understood different types of APIs. Already I explained about the role of API in performance, this is already covered. Okay. Uh, how many people place the order for that particular product? That many number of API calls will be made, not one, one API call. Okay. It will be number of people making the order, okay, placing the order at the time. Okay, that many number of API requests will be done. And because of that load, the application may slow down. Okay, that I already covered as part of this example and here. Okay, so that will be enough. So hope guys, uh, you understood the different types of API testing we can perform as part of this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to explain another API testing concept for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.